Good evening. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Good evening. Hello, Nancy. How are you tonight? Fine, fine. Very good. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. It's a little bit hot, but I'm okay. Mr. Francisco, Hello. good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good good evening. All right. How are you? Yeah, I fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. All right. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to wait, it's exactly eight o'clock. So I'm just going to give here two minutes to the rest so they can join the class. Hey, good evening, Anna. How are you? Good evening, Neftali. Good evening, uh, Daniel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, <laughs> Mr. Star, Humberto. Good evening, teacher. All right. Hey, Oscar, are you going to participate tonight or are you going to be only listening? Oh, I see. Listening. Oh, yeah. All right. Sí, escucho. Okay. Mr. Mauricio Antonio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. You? Great. Excellent. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Let's hear in just one more minute so we can have more people here. So you can see. Oh, hello, Erlene. How are you? And see Mr. Castro there. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. Right. Mr. Kevin Cortez. Kevin Santos Cortez. Good evening. Present. Good evening. <laughs> Taking attendance. All right. Very good. Anybody else here? All right. Excellent. So two minutes already. So it's time for us to start the class. All right. So let me just go ahead and share my screen so you can see this. All right. One second. Let's go in here. And uh, let's see. Let me know when you see the screen, guys, please. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, great, excellent. So, well, good evening, everybody else here, right? Welcome to our new class, right? So I'm so, so happy to have you here tonight, all right? So in, uh, we are going to have a very special class tonight because it's our class number five, 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 all right? Which means we will have a review, all right? Tenemos un pequeño repaso. Esto, uh, you know, porque es nuestra clase número 5, número 5, all right? So we're going to review all the topics that we uh, have studied during uh, the previous days, all right? So it's going to be nuestro unit review, all right? Así que es tu opportunity tonight de preguntar algo que no haya quedado claro, all right? So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do different activities, all right? So that we have done before, actividades que ya hicimos. All right, eh, para repasar a little bit here, all right? So just let me say um, hi to the new people who joined the class. So it's gonna be like Sandra, Maria, Luis, 
All right, and other people here, Mr. Castro as well, etc. right? Thank you. So let's say this one. Well, everybody, as I told you yesterday, I like to start the class uh, by answering this simple question, all right? So you can tell me, and we can use this question as a warm up, right? So we can share how was your day using simple pass quickly here, all right? So um, let's see, I need a volunteer who asked me the question. Who's gonna be the volunteer? Mm -hmm. Me teacher. All right, Mr. Castro, go ahead. What was your day? Okay, so it was nice because I was working and it was an easy day in my job. I was working a lot. Uh, and then at noon, I ate my lunch, or I had my lunch. I ate pizza, so that was delicious. And in the afternoon, I had a really relaxing afternoon, all right? So what about you? I want to hear some answers. Who can give me the answer for the question, how was your day? What did you do, all right? Any volunteer? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we are going to start with the chat. Yeah, sure. okay. Mr. Castro, go ahead. But remember, Mr. Castro, to speak louder because we cannot hear you, all right? Okay, how was your day? Okay, oh, you're going to give me the answer, Maria? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. Castro, let's actually let Maria speak and then I'll go with you, all right? Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Maria, how was your day? Uh, I was uh, very busy in the morning because mm -hmm. I have uh, too much work. Mm -hmm. And then at midday, I will have the lunch. In the afternoon, I will be happy because I am very relaxed afternoon. Oh, yes. You you and I have a similar day. So the afternoon was so relaxed. All right. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So. Just one observation, Maria. You said, eh, eh, creo haber escuchado desde que usted dijo would, right? So I will have in the afternoon, right? So remember que si es el pasado, sí. tiene que ser I just had. Had an okay. relaxing afternoon, all right? Okay. So thank you and good job, good job. It was super, super nice, all right? Thank you. All right, Mr. Erling Castro. So now we will, we will go with you. Go ahead, tell me, how was your day? Can you hear me? A little bit. Okay, uh, well, uh, my day, uh, the, the, sorry, uh, my day was very hard because uh, I got a lot of work today. Uh, at the beginning, I, I went to the school with my daughter. Oh. Uh, after, after that, I, I, I I needed to wear to win the 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 work the job, and after that uh, I I I drank a cup of coffee with my with my coworkers. <clears throat> Later, I needed to to went to I needed to go to San Salvador uh, because uh, I, I needed to do a lot of things over there. After that, I I came back to San Salvador and ate a lunch with my daughter. After that, uh, I needed to go again to the company, and uh, in that, uh, I'll do that. Excellent. Oh my God, Erlene, that was actually a very busy day. It was a long story, a lot of activities. Well, so that's actually yeah. a lot of things to do. All right. But congratulations because you were um, expressing yourself in an understandable way and you gave me a long answer, which is super nice. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Anybody else? Another volunteer? Let's see who else. All right. Come on, but guys, sure. How was your day? We want to hear you. Queremos escucharte. ¿Cómo, uh, ¿Cómo sube tu día? How was your day? Any other volunteer? Yes, yes, yes. 
Thank you, Ana Melendez. Tell me, how was your day, my friend? And good evening. Good evening. Uh, my day starts at 4 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. I prepare my son with the school. Mm -hmm. And before I go to room for 30 minutes, and then I prepare uh, for go to my work. Mm -hmm. I arrive at work at seven o'clock, and I go every day, all day. Ah, that's it. All right, excellent. Thank you, Anna. That was actually good, all right? And that was super nice. So you did a very good job. I only want, I only um, have one suggestion there, all right? So it is this one. Let's see this. And uh, it is when you use the set for to go, all right? So it is to go to my job, actually, okay? Let me check it here, like this one. So I said, it, which is what you said, this is correct for to go. And then the correct one is to go to my job without four, all right? Eh, or like that. Thank you, Anna. That was actually super nice, all right? So imagine Anna waking up early in the morning at four, all right? So, oh my God, that's a challenge, all right? So let's see this one. Oh my God, look at that. Uh, Miss Lopez, Carla Milena Lopez, tell me, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. Um, I had a stressful, stressful day. Oh my God! Um, I I wake up at five a.m. Woke up a.m. And in my work, um, um, I check my email. I had to call clients, um, customer service, mm -hmm. and, and I, wait, <laughs> and my day, como se dice, estuve bastante ocupada. <laughs> right. My day was very busy. My day was very busy. There you go. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Thank you for trying. Thank you. You were doing a good job. Just remember when we're talking about activities in the past. So we need to use the verbs in past. For example, the verb wake up, it's present. In past, it will be woke up. All right. So thank you very much for that. Okay. So let's just continue right now here. And we're going to listen to one more and then we finish with this activity. All right. Let's see, the last volunteer for this activity, who is going to be? No volunteers tonight. Ah, está Irma, dice volunteer. Very good. Yes, 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 yes. Good evening, Irma. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Uh, I went to work. I check emails. Uh, I drink, drink tomar. I drink tomar. I drink I drank. I drank a lot of coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about the afternoon? Come in the afternoon. What did you do in the afternoon after the lunch? Uh, relax. Relax, all right. <laughs> yes. Very good. 
Thank you. All right. Thank you for sharing that. All right. So thank you to everybody who participated in this activity. All right. So eh, de esa manera ustedes me pueden dejar ver cómo está su fluidez y así puedo también ayudarles a corregir a little bit uh, of details right there. So let me check attendance right now quickly so we can start right now. So Apner Adoni. Apner Apner. No. All right. Excellent. So Alexa Marcela. No. All right. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Okay, excellent. So let's see this one. Ana Luisa Espinosa. Present teacher. A tiempo, on time. All right. So Andre Pardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening, sir. All right. David. David Inocente. Present teacher. Thank you, David. All right, Mr. Neftali Medina. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Erlin Castro. I'm here, teacher. Irma, well, Irma, just talk to you. So, hi again. Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Present. Thank you, good evening. Um, let's see this one. Mr. Jose Francisco. Present teacher. Ah, no, quiso ser volunteer en anterior. All right, so. Bien. <laughs> Carla Milena. Present teacher. Hello, all right. Kevin Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, ah, volunteer Mr. Kevin Eduardo for the next activity. All right, so let's see, Luis Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria, Maria Castro. Present teacher. Marta Castillo. Present teacher. Mauricio Ruano. Present teacher. Nancy eh, Ochoa. Present teacher. Oscar Giovanni Mengibar. Oscar Giovanni. No. All right, excellent. So, Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Yeah, this one, Raul Mauricio Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Sandra Yamilet. Hello, Sandra. All right, so Sonia Maribel. Present. Thank you. And William Giovanni Laines. Present, teacher. Thank you and good evening. All right, excellent. So we have it right here. So let's see, it's missing Apner and um, Apner or Alexa Cibrian. Are they here? No? Okay, no problem. So let's see here quickly. I'll say absent and we save it. Okay. Very good. So let's continue right now, people, here with the first activity for today, which is going to be the first review time right here. Oops. It is going to be this one. This is something that we already talked about it. All right. So the mission and the vision. All right. So we are going to find, um, you know, four mistakes so we have five sentences but only one is correct right de esas cuatro de esas cinco una is correct además tienen algo que we have to fix or correct all right so let's see um please me marta castillo help me reading the instruction you know just the instruction all right so this part right here go ahead Hello, Marta. Sí. Help me to read the instruction, please. Ayúdame a leer la instruction, please. Okay. Correct for mis, mis, mistakes. Mistakes. 
relax relate to related related mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. in ay no no sé teacher esa infinitives. palabra infinitives repeat it infinitive Excelente, vamos una vez más. Tú puedes, tú puedes. Correct for mistakes. Correct for to mistakes. Infinity. Relate to infinity. Excellent. Thank you, Marta, for trying. Very good job. Very good job. All right. So let's do this one. So we're going to correct some mistakes right here related to the infinitives, right? So remember the infinitives. Usamos cuando, um, you know, we have actually two and then the base form. So let's see here. In, in number one, number one says here. The company's mission is to distributing top quality office supplies. So, is that correct? Yes or no? Not. No. no. All right, all right. Can someone tell me what is wrong on that answer, on that sentence, I'm sorry? To distribute distributing uh, the correct is to distribute. Distribute, all right. Thank distribute. you. Thank that is correct. Thank you, Nancy, for your help. All right. So the mistake is in this word because as Nancy was saying, so it doesn't go with ing. All right. So you see, it is supposed to be right here. Distribute because in its base form, recordemos que después del tú, verdad, no se lleva, quedaría así. A ver, distribute. Let's see here, right? So, this one, oops, let's do that again. It's gonna be distribute. Thank you. So we got this one. Why not, people? Because remember, los infinitives más después de tú llevan in him. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, is that clear? Questions about the number one? Can I get a break of it to distribute? And not distributing? Questions? No questions. All right. Hey, I have a question for you, everybody. What about vocabulary? What is office supplies? This one. Mm -hmm. Proveedores de oficina? Mm, no. Casi. Oficina, yes. Proveedores. Mm -mm. Suplementos de oficina. Yeah, Erling. Creo que lo dijo. Si no me equivoco. Can you repeat it? We couldn't hear you. Suplemento de oficina. Ah. Yes. Como las cosas que usamos en la oficina, right? So, hay paper, stapler, uh, pen, pencil, etc. Right? Ink, etc. And so on. Okay, excellent. So, let's see. Number two says right here, our vision is to become the leaders in the telecommunications sector All right so what is the do you know it se escucha como cortado y me sale la pantalla oscura así como que está cargando alguien tiene encendido el micrófono no escuchar see now hello can you hear me hello hello reconnecting mm, yes. all right let me stop it and let me share it again Solo que se escucha como doble cuando habla. Se escucha feedback, teacher. No, ahora sí. ¿Can you see it? Yes, now, yes. Yes. All right. Maybe it was a mistake. All right, so are you able to listen to me correctly? Yes, now, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And I don't know what happens. I'm sorry. Okay. So, well, let's continue with number two. It says, our vision is to become the leaders in the communication, telecommunications sector. Do you think, is there any mistake or is it correct? 
Hmm? It's correct. It's correct. Correct or incorrect? The correct, porque dice nuestra visión. No hay suya. Mm. Incorrect. I think. I think. So we're going to actually vote using a poll, right? So, oh, but it's just not working. So what happens right here? Oops. No, es is en vez de it. Yes, to be, creo. Go to this one. Okay, let me check it out. Okay, let's see. I'm going to share a poll with you so you can tell me if it is correct or not. Tell me if you received the poll. Did you receive it? Okay, is that correct? Yes or no? One person says yes, two people say no. 50-50 right now. People are saying people are saying yes. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. We need more people. Only 50% of the participants have voted. We need more, more, more. At least everybody participating there. Come on, you have to select an answer only. All right. One more, one more. There you go. Thank you. Let's see. We are more people here. We have a lot of people today, so come on. Help me voting at least, all right. Ajá, uh -huh. solo 15 han votado 16, los demás. Then you see the poll. All right, excellent. So let's see, it says right here that um, the majority of you guys said that is correct. All right. But let me tell you that it is not correct. All right. So what is the mistake? Mm -hmm. The count tendría que llevar la S. Yes. All right. So because if you pay attention here, let me show you. If you pay attention here. Look at this. Yes. So it doesn't matter if it is mission or vision, but this one is actually something really important here because it's the bird to be. So like that one. So this is correct. And in here, what happens? It's two. Mm -hmm. So here we don't have that one. So it's not the same. So we're missing. Instead of this, it has to be is to become. All right. So that is correct. Y si se recuerdan, las, vis las visiones eran acerca del futuro. Entonces, este verbo, ¿qué significa? What's the meaning of become? Convertirse. Convertirse. Entonces, sí aplica este verbo para una vision. Yes or no? Ya, yeah, that yes. is correct. Yes, sí, yes. Que agregar una S. All right. So, like that. Our vision is to become the leaders in the telecommunication sector. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go right now with number three. Number three, number three. It says, we exist for to provide integrated logistic services. What do you think about that one, people? So you think is that correct or incorrect? Correct for two infinity. Well, there you go. So, correct or incorrect? It's, it's wrong. It's right. It's correct. We are going to use it's another correct. poll again. A ver, votemos. Let's vote again. <laughs> right. So, let's see. People say that is correct. 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 Oh my God. Let's see.
Okay, again, the majority of the people, it's saying correct, correct, correct. Mm -hmm. And people again, all right? Excellent, all right. Again, the majority says that this is a correct sentence, but I have to tell you that is, what do you think? Music, all right? All right. It is not correct, all right? So why not? Mm -hmm. For, for a for. Exactly. So here, the problem here is that we have this one right here. All right. So uh, I don't know if you remember, but for example, uh, I guess it was Anna, right? Le corregimos ahí el for two. All right, so entonces le dijimos that she didn't have to use for, she has to be with two. Entonces lo mismo sucede here. To provide. All right, so thank you, thank you guys. Questions here? No questions? Remember, el infinitivo siempre empieza con two. It doesn't have four. Four and two juntos, it cannot happen. No puede ser esta combinación here. Tiene que ser solamente uno which is, in este caso, two. All right, very good. Excellent, let's review the number four. Number four, number four, so it's going to be this one right here. And it says, our goal is be recognized as the number one dairy producer. All right, so what do you think? Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 Always in the words. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 Okay, people. A ver, let's see. Correct or incorrect? Hmm. One person says that is correct. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Oh, two people said that is correct. Interesting. Uh -huh. Two people said incorrect. All right. Excellent. So there you go. After 30 seconds, let's see here. It says that the, it's incorrect. And now, people, I have to tell you, all right, that this answer, the answer number four, is... Incorrect, exactly. There we go. It's incorrect, and it's the reason why people. It's because it is missing what. Mm -hmm. No, still two. Exactly. Where is the two? Where is supposed to be the two? B. Supposed to be. Is B. Is to be here. Is supposed to say two, right? There you go. To be all right, our goal is to be recognized as the number one dairy product producer. Sorry, all right, let's go with the last one. The last one, the last one, ladies and gentlemen. And it says, REX ambitions to becoming the number one manufactured of clothing for kids. What do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. Hey, pero entonces aquí something happened porque nos decían que cuatro mistakes. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. ¿Y ya tenemos correct. ¿O será otro typo? Right, so because this one, in your opinion, is correct or incorrect? Correct. Exactly, or is correct? So, correct. Porque miren, aquí me dijeron que este era un error. Porque iba con el verbo to be, el is, antes. Mm -hmm. really? Okay, uh -huh. what is the word ambitions? Do you know that word ambition? 
or not? Okay, let's take a look at this one. Condition. Ah, look, it's a verb. Do you see that? So? Uh -huh. Is it correct or incorrect? What do you think? Otra mm. poll. All right, so. Let's see this one. Okay, let's see. 30 seconds to decide it, correct or incorrect. People setting so correct. All right, all right. There you go. Mm -hmm. What do you think that happens? Correct or incorrect, people? Okay, people said correct. A ver, ¿por qué se les ocurre que puede ser correct? Mm -hmm. Yo pienso, teacher, porque eh, está pensando como en el futuro, porque dice breve, convertirse. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the rest? Ese es mi, mi, mi pensamiento. Mm -hmm. What about the others? What do you think? Hello, hello. Any idea? So, is that correct or incorrect? <laughs> All right. No, no, no será teacher porque es, es como eh, un verbo infinitivo. All right. The hecho is actually an infinitive verb. Entonces, con el verbo infinitivo, ¿qué necesitamos? Eh, que no haya un sujeto. ¿no? Ajá, exacto. Pero, ¿cuál es la característica de un infinitivo? Que siempre está en su forma. Final. Base. Base, exactly. Y este de acá tiene forma base. No. No, entonces, ¿qué sería? Incorrect. Exactly. All right. Sé que nos pusieron un pequeño, una pequeña trampa porque dijeron cuatro, pero eran cinco. All right. So, <laughs> but yes, 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 yes. It is because of that. All right. So, entonces la razón gramatical por la cual no es correcta es porque después de tú no puede haber un ing. All right. Tiene que ser forma base. Very good. Excellent. And thank you everybody who participated in this one. So, pilas en el examen y no va a salir algo así y lo van a escoger equivocado. All right. So, Good, good, good. Let's see. Let's go with the next activity here. Okay, so we have some vocabulary here and now you are going to work in some sentences, okay? So, uh, let's see. I need, please, 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 a volunteer to help me reading the instruction. The instruction that says, use the words in the box to write sentences about your responsibilities at work. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Who is it? For reading, only for reading. Solo para leer. Let's see. Hello, hello. Thank you, William. Go ahead, please. Okay, lo cambió, teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, era, era, creo que no lo había proyectado todavía, pero I'm sorry. Era esta. Yes. This one. Oops. Okay. It was this one. In the form. Mm -hmm. Use the word in the box to write sentence about your respons responsibil responsibilities. Responsibilities at work. At work. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So that was nice. Now, let's see what happens right here is the following. Let's review the vocabulary that we have uh, right here. So we have 
be in charge of. Repeat it. Be in charge of. Be in, in charge, charge of. of. There you go. Excellent. So what is to be in charge of? Hmm? Hello? Estar a cargo de algo. Estar a cargo de algo. All right. Remember that. Thank you. The verb to be, it's going to be a change, right? So, se va a ir conjugando el verbo to be, no se va a usar be, sino que se va a usar dependiendo de el, um, el sujeto que se use. So, for example, si el sujeto es I, what's the verb to be for I? Uh -huh. um, I am. Yes, all right, so that is correct, I am. What about like a verb to be for he? He's. He is or she as well, all right, and for you? Hello? You are. You are. Exactly. All right, so for example, how do you say, uh, let's give the names. How do you say, for example, Mauricio está a cargo de la empresa? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo lo escribiríamos? Usamos el chat. Let's see how would you write it. Mauricio is our. Uh, ¿Cómo escribirían Mauricio? Company. Está a cargo de la empresa. Mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? Through the chat. This is our... Mm -hmm. Mauricio is in charge of company. Katia, that is almost perfect. Eso falta una palabrita. Revisa el next message. Uh -huh. Mauricio is in charge of the company. Very good. Thank you, Erlin. Thank you, Ana. That is correct. Carla Milena as well. All right. So, yes, that is correct. What is this in charge of the company? Vamos a ver this one. Eh, Carla and Jose cargo de la empresa. What about this one? Carla y Jose están a cargo de la empresa. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. How will you say that? Carla and Jose are to charge the company. Mm. Yes. Ana Elizabeth, le decimos ese are to charge. Ah, a ver, es el translator. Are to charge. Hey, pay attention, people. Aquí está el, el, la structure that we need to use. All right. So take a look. It's supposed to be this one. To be in charge of. Right? So you see, Sería Carly Jose are in charge of the company. Very good. Thank you, thank you. And Jose are to charge the company. Mm, Saben, me llama mucho la atención ahorita. Ese que me están poniendo bastantes. Are to charge the company. Vamos a comprobarlo. Carly y Jose están a cargo de la compañía. All right. Teacher, lo que pasa que yo puse... In church, y usted dijo que era tú. <laughs> all right, so, all right, ajá, ajá. ajá. Entonces, ahí, ahí por la confusión, quizás. All right. Por eso fue? volví a poner el tú. <laughs> ah, all right, so, vamos a ver aquí, vamos a ocupar esto que ustedes que no están ocupando aquí, you know, la trampa. Veamos. A ver qué dice aquí. Oh, sorry. From English to Spanish, shall we change it? I guess you have to translate it and say yes. <laughs> All right. So, ya yeah, está verificado. All right. So, by the translator. So, yes, it is this one that we have right here. All right. So, it would be um, Carla and Jose are in charge. Remember, this one is what you guys are going to always pay attention to here, which is going to be this structure right here. B is going to be, in este caso, sería R. Porque el verbo tuve se conjuga para Carla en Jose. All right. And then in, 
charge of and then the company. So this structure will never change here. All right. Excellent. So thank you. Uh, what about this one right here? This one. Be committed to. What is it? Estar comprometido. Estar comprometido? Con. Con. Exactly. All right. So, very good. Then this one right here, the next one. Mm -hmm. This one here. Dedicado. Dedicado a. All right. So, very good. And this one right here. What is it? Ser responsable de. Exactly. And this one. Ajá. Nos encontramos con una new word. What is accountable? Repeat, accountable. All right. Accountable, which it means as well. Responsable. All right, so, oops, I just escribimos con doble T, my bad. Accountable. There you go, excellent. So we go for this one right here. Accountable with double, um, one T, sorry. Esos dos son sinónimos. This one, so we have right here. Este and this one are basically the same. All right, so understand? Excellent, so questions about the vocabulary, people? No, yes, no, no, yes. All right, no problem. All right, so now, people, I want you to please give me examples using this uh, sentences, all right? So, for example, yo soy a cargo de, yo soy comprometido con, soy dedicado a, eh, soy responsable de, o be accountable, que también es responsable de. All right, very good, very good. So, we are going to have three minutes, three minutes to... Uh, Create the sentences. Aquí vamos a estar todos in this class, in this um, classroom here. All right. So we are not going to go to the breakout rooms. We're going to keep in this room. We're going to keep ourselves in this room so we can actually work together. All right. So you have three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, people. So let's see here. It's 20.45, so 8.45 p.m. A las 8.48. Vamos a ver detenernos. All right. Prepare the sentences, prepare the sentences, please. Prepare the examples. Preparemos los examples usando estas palabras que acabamos de repasar. Teacher. Yes. Uno por cada uno sería. All right, exactly. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Erling, primer volunteer. Mm. Let's see, let's see. Esos que tengan cámara apagada serán los primeros. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Two more minutes, people. Two more minutes. All right, don't worry. Questions? Do you need any help? Right, Ernie says I am committed to the career of the company. Excellent, that's a good example. I like it. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent, excellent. One more minute, one more minute. Questions, preguntas para las um, sentences. Ajá, dice Neftali, I am being in charge of the night chief. Ok, excelente. Eh, chicos, ayudémosle a Neftali. ¿Qué le podemos cambiar a esa sentence que nos acaba de enviar en el grupo? What could we change to that sentence he just sent to the group? Uh -huh. Without B. What would be? What would that be? The without B. Sin el B, exactly. Why not? Mm -hmm. Como decís el mismo, yo estaré. Exactly. I am in charge. That is correct, Neftali. Remember que el verbo to be se va cambiando dependiendo del sujeto. All right. So, si es para I, esto sería I am y ya no ponemos la palabra B porque ya está conjugado en el am. Super good. And thank you for correcting, Neftali. Maria says one person should be in charge of overseeing the process. Very good. Supervising the process. All right. Kevin is charge of the cellar. Mm -hmm. Hace falta una pequeñísima palabra, Mr. Um, Lainez. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm in charge of my department. Thank you, Ana. Super simple. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Mr. William, le hace falta in ahí. Kevin is in charge of. Remember. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. You know, the matter, the mass. Finish, finish. This is Nancy here. I am in charge of preparing dinner. Oh my God. Uh -huh. uh, I am responsible for applying. Okay, change request. Oh, that's right. I am committed to learning English. Perfect. Super good examples, Nancy. Super nice. Carmen says, Maricela is in charge of wash the dishes. All right, of washing the dishes. All right. So it will be um, this one right here of the prepare payroll. Of preparing the payroll. All right. But recordemos algo, Carla y Ana Luisa Espinosa. All right. So, uh, when we are using the preposition of, of, sorry, of this one, después de eso, el verbo, it will be with ing. All right, entonces sería ahí, Maricela is in charge of washing the dishes, and I am in charge of preparing payroll. All right, very good. Mauricio Antonio says, be in charge of checking Gmail. Ok, Mauricio, that was nice, all right? Pero ahí nos queda el verbo to be así porque no tenemos un sujeto. Who is the subject? I, you, etc., right? Si fuera yo, ¿cuál sería el verbo to be para I, people? You. Para I, verbo to be. And. Um. Am, um. exactly. Eso sería, I am in charge of checking Gmail, all right? So, vamos a poner un par de examples here que nos mandaron, all right? So, let's see here. It's going to be here, and it says, I am in charge of preparing the dinner. Oh, my goodness. All right. That will be an example, very good. So let's see this one right here. Another one, my parents are committed of, committed, ¿cuál lleva committed? Lleva to o lleva of, all right? So it's be two, committed to, to prepare 
I'm dedicated to my family during the weekend. Yes. I am being charged. Mm -hmm. Mr. Oscar Humberto. All right. So I am being charged mm -hmm, of the team. Remember, aquí está el uh, correct, which is going to be to be in charge of. All right. Entonces ahí sería I am B, ya no el B. Veo que muchos people están um, actually having that problem with the verb to be. Recuerden, el verbo to be debe cambiarse dependiendo del sujeto. Si es para I, el verbo to be es am. So then you go like you are. He is. She is. Uh, he is. They are. We are. Tienen que recordar esto, please. Mm -hmm. Like that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ajá. Mr. Mauricio, veamos. Le ayudémosle aquí a Mr. Mauricio. All right. So, Mr. Mauricio, I have a question for you. Tell me, please, what is the subject? ¿Quién es el sujeto en esa oración? Mm -hmm. Mr. Rano. Hello. I am, exactly. That is correct. Entonces le quitamos el B de principio. Sería I am committed to. All right. And then you go with this one. Solo que remember que después del to, vamos con forma base. To drink. All right. No problem. Don't worry. It's okay. Let's see this one. Thank you. Solo que podemos hear. He is be committed. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Veamos este example right here. All right. Um, dice que he is be committed to my company. Okay, that is almost perfect. Pero, ¿qué pasó ahí? Ya conjugamos el verbo abajo. be. ¿Verdad? All right. So, we don't need to add it anymore. Por ejemplo, aquí dice he is committed to the company. Lo vamos a poner en la pantalla. All right. So, and it's supposed to be this one right here. He is be committed to my company. We need to eliminate this. Porque el verbo to be ya es este. Que está conjugado. For him. All right. So nos queda. He is committed to my company. Yes. Very good. Excellent. So yes. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Oh, y miren este. Que... I am in charge of decorations. Jesus. Impuestos taxes. I am in charge of decorations. There you go. Another one right here. Okay, let's see here. I am responsible for applying change like this one. Super good. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right. So you are doing a very good job. All right. So guys, I can see here that you understand this. All right. Lo entienden bastante bien. Solamente deben de prestar atención a la conjugación de el verbo to be, which is this one right here. In este caso es am. Here is is. Then you have I am. All right. So and I am as well here. All right. So si ya el verbo to be va cambiando. All right, dependiendo quién sea el sujeto. Si es I, es am. Si es he, is is. And then I, and am. All right, so, entonces, ya ustedes se fijan, en ninguno de los ejemplos acá se pone be, porque ya va conjugado aquí. Entonces, we don't do that anymore. All right, so, good, excellent. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you for helping me with this one. Preguntas, dudas, inquietudes? Questions? No questions? Hmm. No questions, no questions. All right, no problem. 
people that they say no or send a reaction or algo, my friends, para darme cuenta de yes or no. <laughs> right. So let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's just continue right now and let's see what's going to be this one. So we are going to learn a difference right here. Well, let's see, everybody. We are going to all right continue with this one and we are going to um, understand the difference between personal and personal all right so because in spanish we have one word for both scenarios for both cases there for example eh, how do you say no es personal how do you say no es personal in english it's not personal it's not personal all right when we're talking about algo que es private, algo que es privado, right? So, but, uh, you know, also, sorry, in Spanish, when we talk about the people who work in a company, how do we call that people? The people who work in a company. ¿Cómo les llamamos al grupo de personas que they work in the company? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, el, the same word, people. All right. Personal. Personal, exactly. All right. So, entonces, in Spanish, tenemos la palabra para algo privado, something personal, or para un grupo de personas que trabajan en una company, un group of people who work in a company. All right. But in English, we have two different words. All right, two different words. One for like the personal or particular thing and the other one for the um, a group of the people that, who work for a company. What creen ustedes de estas dos palabras? What word do you think? All right, it's going to be the one for something personal. Algo privado, algo que le pertenece a alguien además. Mm -hmm. Right. You're right. Which one? It will be right. It's going to be this one or this one. Mm -hmm. Personal or personal? Personal. This one. Personal. This one right here. Yes or no? No. Yes. The other. Yes. This yes. one. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So let's yes. see this one. That is correct. In English, when we're talking about um belonging to a particular person, all right, it's gonna be personal. For example, my personal email, my personal information, my personal opinion, for example, right? Mi opinión personal, mi información personal. So I'm going to use the word here. Um, personal, right? So this one right here. Yes. And when I talk about the group of people who work for a company, we are going to use this one right here. Personal. All right. So now, it, is that clear, people? Yes or no? Let me know, please. Yes, it's clear. Excellent. Thank you for confirming, Nancy. All right. So now let's see. My first volunteer will be the last person who typed in the chat. How do you say mi teléfono celular es verde? Mi celular es verde. Mi celular es verde. My cell phone is green. My cell phone is green. All right. Primera, Mayor Carla. Very good. My phone is green. La aceptamos, Nancy. Very good. All right. So let's see. Let's see. My cell is green. Ilya, me quedo con cell phone. All right. So, oh, phone. Pero cell me suena muy Spanish. All right. So let's see. Let's see. My cell phone is green. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. ¿Cuántas respuestas llevo aquí? Veamos. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's almost twenty-four. Me falta la mitad, people. Ajá, los demás que están ahí oyentes, maybe they can chat. All right, so when your money, you change it. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Marta, Marta, Marta. Let's see here. My my calphones. It says there, Marta. All right, so what happened, Martita? All right, so let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Uh -huh. Bueno, vamos a hacer un, un pequeño review here. Porque veamos, aquí en la clase como oyente solo tengo, veamos, Neftali, Alexa, Andrew, Daniel. Y, y de ahí solamente ellos. O sea que, por ejemplo, los demás... They are supposed to be in the class. Ajá. Por ejemplo, veamos. Oh, Austin Oscar también. Los demás, ¿qué están haciendo? Ay, Mr. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Aquí no dice oyente. So, what are you doing? Hello? Teacher, yo solo este 15 que esté de noche voy a estar de oyente. Ya la otra, ya no. Ok. Porque como que está pendiente de otras cosas. Don't también worry, don't la... worry. Don't worry. Pero ahí dice oyente, so don't worry. All right, so... The question here is para los que no dice oyente, pero están, pero no están. Ah, con, uh -huh. ah Sandra y apareció. Hello. All right. So, all right. ¿Sabe qué? Ah, Sandra me va a poner a leer. All right. So, let's see. All right. So, hello al compañero de Sandra. All right. So, good. There you go. Veamos, Sandra. Demuestra a su compañero that you speak English. All right, and help me with the number one. The number one is this one right here. All right, read it, please. Solo leámosla. Who is responsible for the? Aha, uh -huh. okay. at the plant. All right, ¿Qué the plant. Ahí, people, iría, um, you know, personal or personal? Personal. 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 Personal, this one or this one? Personal. Personal. All right. So in this case right here, it's going to be personal. All right. Why is it personal? Porque dice acá, it says right here, una, what? All right, this one. De la planta. O de, exactly, o... it says here plant. Entonces acá no puede ser algo personal, sino que hablando de the group of people, el personal de la company. Very good, very good. All right, excellent. So, and then we continue with this one right here. Thank you for helping me. Any volunteer for reading the second one? Mm -hmm. Does the marketing manager have uh, personal Assistant. 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 There you go. Excellent. So this one is personal. Yes or no? Personal. There you go. That is correct. You are doing good on this one. What about number three? Number three, number three. What do you do for number three? It's necessary to personal. Personal for the high season. Oh, Erling, was that you, right, Erling? Or who was it? Oh, the, the third one. The third one, all right. I'm sorry, can you repeat it again? Because we couldn't hear you. Okay, it's necessary to train more personnel for the high season. All right, so will that be personnel or personnel? Personnel. There you go. Exactly. So it's going to be personnel here. And it's going to be here. Personnel. There you go. Exactly. So why? Because we're talking about the high season. Hey, everybody. Can you actually help me with the meaning of this one right here? The high season. 
Temporada alta. Exactly. Thank you. De hecho, I was thinking on you, Nancy. Estaba pensando en su job, right? So, que tiene temporadas altas y temporadas bajas. So, very good. All right. So, number four. It says here. Mm -hmm. Volunteer for number four. Please do not bring your personal problems to the office. Oh, my God. All right. So, personal problems. All right. So, it says right here, personal. There you go. Exactly. That is correct. All right. And the last one, number five. Any volunteer for number five? The personal the of person the Continue, please. <laughs> uh, who is going to continue, Nancy or Anna? Anna. <laughs> All right, Anna. Finish this sentence. The no veo. No logro ver. All right. One second. All right. No. Okay. The personal of the workshop need new uniform. The personal of the workshop needs new uniforms. That is correct. So it's going to be their personnel. All right. There you go. So we go on this one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. And we are going to uh, continue with this one. Hey, before we continue, do you have questions about vocabulary? Mm -hmm. No. No? There you go. Excellent. So thank you then. So we continue with the next activity here. Oops. Okay, so let's see, take a look, take a look. The activity number five for today, all right? So the instruction says, complete the statements using the passive voice of the verbs in parentheses. And then you are going to compare the answers with your partners, all right? So I will give you two minutes, all right? So you can read and analyze this one. Okay, like I said, what do you have to do? All right, so remember que teníamos estos verbos acá. All right, so, y cuando vimos la voz pasiva, yo les decía que este verbo se puede volver un adjetivo, right? Porque pasa de significar considerar a considerado. All right, so, conocer a conocido. Prestar a prestado. All right, so, entonces, like that one. Y eso se le llama here, the passive voice. For example... In the number one here, it says, our company is considered the best manufacturer in brooms in the country. And I have a question for you, everybody. What is the meaning of that sentence? How do you say that in Spanish? Any volunteer? Nuestra compañía es considerada la mejor manufacturera de... Esta palabra no sé qué significa. En el país. La de, brooms es escobas. Vale, escobas en el país. There you go. So we're talking, yes, about this one. Brooms, 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 brooms. All right. So thank you. All right. Entonces ustedes ya pudieron ver acá. All right. So eh, that you go on this one. Get this one. El verbo consider. Se pasó así like consider in ED. All right. So solo que recuerden algo. For example, here, este verbo es regular. Este de acá y este de acá no es irregular, es irregular. Entonces, debemos utilizar el pasado participio. All right, ¿cuál es ese? No sé qué es el pasado participio. Oh, my God. All right, es el que vamos a utilizar cuando decimos en Spanish, visto, comprado, estado, sabido, eh, etc. Right? So, for example, veamos. Eh, How do you say, eh, o cómo se escribe el visto de, de WhatsApp, for example, but in English? Visto, visto. Alguien que tenga su teléfono en English? Anybody who has their phone in English? So you have WhatsApp in English. ¿Cómo se escribe visto in English? Mm -hmm. okay. It's this one. Sin, all right? Entonces, here, all right, ¿cómo iríamos entonces? Eh, ¿Cómo iríamos entonces? 
él es visto como un líder. Escríbeme esa oración en el chat. Please uh, type it on the chat. Él es visto como un líder. He is seeing Erling, un typo. <laughs> right, so, yes, exactly. Ana Elizabeth, esa sonaría como él está siendo visto. All right. Porque lleva ahí el is being seen. All right. Simplemente es is seen, es visto. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, uh -huh, exactly. Eh, Neftali, veamos, sin leader, leader. Right? He is seen as a leader. Perfect, Ana Luisa. Ahora, yes. Eh, Sonia Martinez, he is seen as a leader. Very good. Carla Milena, he is seen as a leader. Yes, that is correct. Nancy, he is seen as a leader. Perfect. Mauricio Rano, he is seen as a leader. Perfecto. Entonces, ahí ya estamos ocupando la voz pasiva. Then we're using the passive voice again. Right? ¿Por qué? Porque hemos dicho... Es visto. All right, so like that one. Veamos, eh, ¿cuál sería el pasado participio del verbo saber? No. Then. None. All right. So let's see. No, no. All right, so. Um, that's this one. How do you say, veamos, Michael Jackson. Let's talk about Michael Jackson. All right, Michael Jackson es conocido como un gran cantante. Bailarín. All right. Michael Jackson es conocido como un gran bailarín. Ajá. How do you say that in English? Veamos. Michael Jackson is known as a great dancer. Excellent, Sonia. Carla says, ajá, un typo, Carlita. All right, so, un typo ahí, se falta una letra. Mm -hmm. Let's see this one. Jose Francisco, I don't see your answer here. All right, so, Irma, good morning. All right, so, <laughs> All right. En, en, el, en, en el manual estaba trabajando, dicho. Ah, va, va. Ok, ok. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Sí, sí. So, let's see. Miren, Irma, mejor apago la cámara. All right. Hello, Irma. All right. So, let's see. Uh, ok, it says right here. Nancy, very good. Michael Jackson, it's known as a great dancer. Eh, gramática perfecta, el Jackson es falta algo, Nancy, all right, so, pero yes, oh my God, Erling es el Jackson, va con J, no con Y, all right, so, eh, Michael Jackson is known as a big dancer, Carlita, very good, solo cambiaremos la palabra big for great, all right, que great tiene que ver con habilidades y lugar de tamaño, all right, so, very good, Marta Castillo, it says, Michael Jackson is known as a great dancer. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Ya tenemos entonces los demás. All right. So, esos son los únicos dos eh, irregular verbs que hay que cambiar un poquito la forma a la hora de um, say them in, in present, right? I'm sorry, in past participle, que era seen in no. All right. So, de ahí los demás son, solo se les agrega y di como esto. Entonces, este se le agrega la D, aquí la D y aquí la D. All right, so, understand? All right, let's see. Let's continue with this one right here quickly. All right, I need a volunteer right now. All right, uh, volunteer for the number two. Number two, number two, volunteer. Who is it? Who is it? Let's see, volunteer. I don't see those hands. Me. All right. Who, 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 who is it? Me, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> Okay, our products are rated as five of the most popular in the United States. That is absolutely correct, all right? So rated, all right? So you only add this one and that's all, 
Very good job, Nancy. Thank you. All right, any other volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Me, teacher. Teacher, y ahí right. no le faltó ar. I'm sorry? No le faltó ar. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you know, le fa me faltó a mí. <laughs> right. So, but Nancy said it correctly. Thank you for the observation. All right. So, let's see here. Let me write it again. Thank you. There you go, Yaremba. Siempre eh, pendiente. Thank you, Ana. All right. So, okay. eh, who was the next one? Oh, Alexa, right? For number three. Okay, teacher, Alexa. Right. Our customer service agent is perceived as the most efficient in the sector. All right, excellent. So we are going to just practice uh, perceive, all right? Okay. All right, repeat, perceive. Perceive. Perceive, all right? Very good, excellent. So we are going to just go ahead and check this one correctly here there you go are perceived as the most efficient right thank you let's go with the number five number five number five all right over hand is the number else? four teacher. carla all right carla or anna the number four it? number four carla all right uh, the brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market amazing all right so that will be is seen all right great excellent thank you number five number five number five uh -huh. no volunteers okay excellent so vamos a ver las cámaras de los que están encendidos aquí Y let's see, my volunteer will be en las cámaras el último que me enseñe un lapicero. Uh -huh. El último que me enseñe un lapicero, 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 lapicero. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Y lapicero, lapicero. Ah, no, están escribiendo. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. There we go, there we go. So let's see, let's see. I don't see pens there. All right, excellent. A ver, a ver. Yo, Sandra, when you were your pen, Sandra. Uh, Maria, el lapicero, Maria. All right, so. Uh -huh. So, let's see. A ver. Tengo dos volunteers, entonces. Sandrita y Maria. All right, so. Excellent. All right. Maria, let's see here. Uh, let's go with the number five and Sandra with the number six. All right. Uh, okay. That the company are known as the major products of shoes in the re regions. Region. It's regions. Thank you very much. That is correct. Excellent. Easy. Uh -huh, Sandra. Vegetables. Vegetables. Our vegetable, no puedo ver por el Oh, sorry, okay. Our vegetable are right as the last contaminated. Contaminated. Mm -hmm. Contaminate of the nation market. All right, all right, excellent. So we go on this one right here, I rate it. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sandrita, and everybody who participated in these activities. Thank you. Encontró el lapicero por fin. There you go. So let's continue with this one. All right. Uh, questions about vocabulary? No? Yes, teacher. Tell me. In the, in the six. Okay. Donde dice, as the list no list. sé cómo se dice list. qué significa y cómo se pronuncia sería la, para entender lo correcto sería the list alright esas dos palabras que significan los menos o las menos 
right? In this case. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you. Well, let's see this one, people. Vamos a check attendance una vez más, rapidito. Please say present. All right, so Abner Molina. Okay, Alexa Marcela. Present. Thank you, Ana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Andre Pardo. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pardo, in the chat or anything, is it here or not yet? Not anymore. All right. So let's see. Uh, David, David Mugia. Ah, David Mugia. Hi. Hello, hello. All right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Neftali Medina. Well, he's there. All right, so um, let's see this one. No problem. Erlin Castro. I'm here to All right, Irma, Irma Martinez. Present. Thank you. All right. So, Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you. Jose Francisco Ordóñez. Present, teacher. Carla Milena. Present, teacher. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present, teacher. Ah, este es algo muy Kevin. All right. So, eh, Luis Humberto González. Thank you. All right, so Maria Castro. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Marta Castillo. Present teacher. Mauricio Rano. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Ochoa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Oscar Giovanni Menjivar. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, so in... Let's see this one, Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, so Raul Mauricio Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, Sandra Yamiret Escobar. Present teacher. Sonia, thank you, Sonia Maribel Martinez. Present. And William Giovanni Laines. Present. All right, so Giovanni Menjivar. Giovanni Menjivar said, sorry. Okay. 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 All right, excellent. All right. Ooh, what questions? All right, so let's see. Let's just continue with the next activity here. All right. There you go. Excellent. So let's see this one right here. All right. So, all right, everybody here, this activity is for you to work in couples. All right. So or a group of three, actually. So you're going to go to the breakup rooms. All right. And you're going to write a short paragraph so you can share this one. Este lo practicamos uh, yesterday. All right. No, the first day of classes. Como es conocida tu compañía? All right. So like the examples que acabamos de hacer. Examples como estos, but you're going to create yours about your company. ¿Cómo es reconocida tu compañía? What is the reputation of your company? How is your company recognized? As, for example, the best uh, company in the industry, like preparing the best pizzas, etc. right? Don't forget, super important, to use the passive voice, que sería prácticamente esta structure que acabamos de eh, utilizar en este exercise. Okay, everybody? Yes. Perfect. So let's just go ahead and check the breakup rooms right now so you can go and practice. But practice, people. Yo voy a por ahí a cada breakup room para ver cuántos están ahí. All right. So let's see this one right here. There you go. Excellent. And si alguien se queda solo porque no hay ingreso nadie más, por favor, let me know so I can move you to a different group. All right. Go ahead, everybody, and practice, participate. Remember, this is going to be the activity, right? 
un párrafo de five line paragraph, cinco líneas, right, about your company um, using passive voice. Porque es reconocida tu compañía. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Tenemos dos. Whatever along. Okay. Mr. Rano, join the group, please. Okay. Thank you. No examples. All right, so. No, no entendimos la pregunta, ¿cómo era? Ah, all right, no problem. So it's just about writing a paragraph about like um, your company, right? So like, for example, el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer ahorita decía, mi compañía es conocida por esto, somos reconocidos por aquí, etc., right? Entonces, let's just talk about your company. For example, Erling, where do you work? I work at Laboratorio Solari. Okay, so why is Laboratorio Solares known for? Yo que sé, Laboratorio Solares is known for, y me das una razón por la cual, right? So, o es conocido por, etcétera, etcétera, right? Great, excellent. Okay. Is that clear, Luis? Uh, yes, it's clear. Okay, Pero perfect. Vamos a, vamos a traer cinco, cinco oraciones, o yeah. cinco de cada. Yes. Um, I mean, you can actually create five sentences in total, all right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Tell me, how can I help you? Dime, dime. Una consulta. Este, eh, ¿Sería la empresa de nosotros o hacer nosotros una empresa? Oh, no. Actually, it could be about your company. For example, where do you work? Ah, uh, okay. En Okay, so you could say like, esta compañía es conocida por esto y esto. Ah, okay, right? okay, esta okay. compañía okay. es reconocida okay. eh, o trabajan, somos los mejores en esto y esto y esto, por ejemplo. Okay. Right? Pueden ser, por ejemplo, okay. ya que son ustedes eh, three, you can talk about dos de Mauricio, dos de Sandra y uno de Alexa o ahí viceversa. All right? Okay. All right, Ay, chef, aprovechando yes. el Excuse me. Aprovechando el foro, ayer este, pasó algo con mi conexión, pero yo estaba conectada y yo escuchaba. Entonces, espero yo no podía contestar el micrófono, como si se me había inhabilitado. Entonces, no sé si pasó la lista. Ahí puede ver los chats y yo estaba participando. Como eso de las 8.30, creo que fue que ya no, no pude no, manipular el micrófono. So, Sandra, right? Yes. Me amo, Sandra. Es que me llama la atención que, que ahora me mandaron un mensaje y yo... Fíjese que lo, lo que pasa es esto, Sandra, right? So, aquí se, se registran eh, no solamente las asistencias que yo paso, sino también la cantidad de minutos que usted está dentro de eh, el chat, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso lo, lo registra automáticamente Zoom, right? Entonces, eh, la clase dura dos horas, el total de minutos que tiene que estar usted adentro son 120 pero recuerda el registro que yo veo aquí, pues estuvo la mayor parte de la clase. All right, so le faltó nada más un par de minutitos. Me imagino que por eso le mandaron el mensaje, ¿no? Ok, pero sí tengo la asistencia. Sí, no, la asistencia sí está. All right, y si esto también tenemos registrado acá el, la cantidad de minutos que usted estuvo conectada, entonces, no, don't worry, we have all that in here. Ok, ahora igual. Está ahora bien. igual, ahora aquí tenemos el, la asistencia que es la que yo paso, y al finalizar la clase, el sistema nos tira cuántos minutos usted estuvo conectado. Ok. All right. sí. You're welcome. Let's hear. Ok. Oh. 
um, for a for a quality service, servicio de calidad. Correct. Mm -hmm. Y Hello, podría. Teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Company. Eh, si, si gusta la, las escribimos en el, en el, ¿En el chat en el, en el chat okay. voy a escribir yo las mías y escribe usted las suyas y de ahí las, las unimos ¿le parece? ok, perfecto vamos a revisar el chat ahorita ok <risa> right, so let's see do you have questions? no questions no teacher All right. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Compartir. Do you need help, uh, Jose? Sí, teacher, sí, no puedo regresar al, a la plataforma en el Zoom. All right. Eh, what happens? Use en su, en su teclado, use las teclas Alt y el que está arriba para poner mayúscula. Ah, ok. Ahí le va a dar. Uh -huh. Mi compañía. mi compañía es ah, ¿qué más, qué más? Uh -huh. por ofrecer tal vez sí. por ofrecer productos de buena calidad a un bajo Ajá. precio eh, sí, eh, mi compañía es reconocida por ofrecer productos de buena calidad. Uh -huh. Sí, sería un, sería sí, un precio, uh -huh, un bajo precio. Sí, reconocida por... Now in English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. One moment. <laughs> ok, excelente. So guys, Luis se ha unido al grupo porque ha quedado ahí for the alone. All right, so aquí está otra vez. Ah. Ok, ok. okay. No, 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 no nos habíamos fijado porque estábamos aquí. Don't worry, don't worry. So, Luis, ¿qué pasó con tu partner? ¿Y ustedes estaban trabajando, right? Ah, no sé. Ah, hola, Luis. Es que no nos habla, Luis. Ah. Oh, hola. Sí, hola. Sí, yo, yo no me había fijado porque estaba digitando. No me había fijado que había entrado Luis. No bueno, ya, ya, ya la hicimos por tu grupo traducir. Ah. <risa> All right. Thank you, too. No worries. Ok. Eh, nos quedamos productos de buena calidad. Pero que... Que son clase A, clase B, algo así. No sé. ¿Clasificados? Ajá, clasificados. Correcto. Classified. <laughs> Ya tenemos dos t-shirts. Excelente, faltan diez. Ah, es que... Aquí le escribimos, no sé si están bien. A pero ver. No falta. Eh, aquí, the school is considered uh, one of the best center for academic and spiritual formation. All right, it, it, where, where can I see that one? Están en su, en su phone or where? Sí. Sí, lo tenemos en el chat del grupo. Ah, lo puede volver a copiar en, en Send Again. Como acabo de entrar, no lo puedo ver. 
Ah, ok. Please. Entonces, aquí. Okay, ojalá que esté bien. Y ahorita. Yes, ahora sí. Right, the school Okay. is considered one of the best centers of, for academic and spiritual formation. All right, formación en Spanish. All right, so our teacher are committed to the values of the in, institution. institution. All right, excellent. So Vaya, yes. lo voy a escribir. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the idea the idea is good all right so what we'll just like correct those things but the idea is super good sigue la, la lo que estamos haciendo so don't worry Okay. thank you nos quedan nada más three minutes all right Okay. Thank you. thank you Hello, hello. Hello. ¿Cómo van? How are you doing? Mm, ya, teacher, ya terminamos. Excelente. Volunteers. Hola. Vamos de volunteers entonces. Uh, mire, este, nosotros hicimos, no sé si eran cinco oraciones o un párrafo. It's the same. You know, five sentences, ¿Cómo se? it's okay. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Ah, pues está bien. Ok, excellent. Entonces Ok, vamos a regresar gracias. ahorita a los a la, a la sala principal, right to the main room, all right? Ok. Ok. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the main room. All right. So, did you finish? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back. All right. Let's see here. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, people. Excellent. De los que están aquí, everybody, alguien que me quiera dar su example. All right, examples, examples, volunteers, for examples. Welcome back, everybody else. Uh, Maria, Irma, Ana Luisa, Jose Francisco, Ana Elizabeth, David, Carla, mm -hmm, Erlin, Humberto González. Uh -huh. Who wants to give me an example? The example, examples. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No problem. I'll do it again. Let's see here. All right. De los de las cámaras. Okay, excellent. So, uh, camera encendida. The last one who shows me a phone. A phone, a phone, a phone. All right, so... The last one who shows me a phone. El último que muestra el teléfono. Very good, very good, very good. A ver, ahí está el phone, el phone. Very good. Ah, la computer. Cuenta. All right, so very good. Uh -huh. Maria, otra vez. Ah, no, Irma. Irma, ahora se escapa Irma. Very good. Ah, está el phone. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> Cuenta el phone de la company. No problem. All right, so. Uh -huh. Excelente. Thank you, Nancy. Well, Carla, 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 entonces, volunteer. There you go. Estoy enseñando, <laughs> All right, excellent. Oh, Anne Elizabeth, you want to be the volunteer. All right, excellent. So, my Anne Elizabeth will select the next person, okay? All right, so, Okay. excellent. Anna, give me, Eh, give me uh, one sentence, all right? eh, my company's name is Liceo Cristiano. Okay. Eh, the, the college is considered. Consider. Cons Consider uh, the one of the best centers of academic and spiritual formation. Formation. All right. Very good. Excellent. Solo una pequeña correction, Anita, y es que para los colegios siempre se dice school. 
En el caso de este, que son privados, ah, se dice okay. private school. Private school, ajá. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. La palabra college eh, sería un sinónimo de universidad. All right? Okay. okay. Eh, right. Eh, teacher are committed with committed. the... Committed. Yeah. With the core values mm -hmm. of the institution. Institution. Mm -hmm. eh, uh, the last or students have the best technology for their learning all right so let's see this one all right all right aha thank you very much thank you that was actually super nice all right okay. and nice examples right and good pronunciation as well right there all right thank you any other volunteer mm -hmm. Come on. Teacher. Cool. Yes, Jose. Uh, my company is recognized for producing quality products. Okay, that's good. Just remember, recognize. Recognize. Okay, exactly. thank you. You're welcome. All right, what else? Mm -hmm. Bueno, dijimos que Ana iba a escoger uno, right? So, Ana escoge uno y Jose escoge otro, right? Ana, select someone. Okay. Uh, permítame que no veo bien. Solo lo veo todo. All right. Se esconde, se esconde. Ah, uh, uh, Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Ese es Mr. Rano, right? Okay. All right. My company is recon... recon ¿Cómo se dice reconocida? Recognize. Recognize for the world. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's it. My com oh, my company is real in quality. Okay. For the quality. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Excellent. So, and Jose, you need to select one person. Uh, David Munguia, teacher. Hi, David Munguia. Uh huh. Hello. Hello, hello, David. Are you there? Uh oh, another person, Jose. Okay, uh, Sandra Yamilet. Sandra Yamilet, all right, Sandra. <laughs> okay, it's my company is recognized for behind the number one bakery worldwide. Ok, excellent. Qué bien elaborado ese eh, um, statement, right? Ese sentence, example, that was actually good. Solo eh, remember the pronunciation, it will be recognize. Repeat it. Recognize. 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 Very good job. Excellent. Sí. Thank you. Thank Me you, comprendió you. Lo, lo, lo que dice. Yes. Por ser la compañía número uno a nivel mundial en... Panificación. Panificación. That was the word. All right. So like that. Thank you. The bakery, actually. La, 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 yeah, panificación, actually. Okay. okay. Not you. Not you. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you, everybody here. Bueno, vamos a irnos a nuestra last activity for today. All right. So we will see it right down here. Uh, give me one second. Because this is online. Okay. Let's see this one. One second. Ya les comparto el screen. I will share the screen in a moment. Because tenemos un pequeño quiz at the illness before we go to sleep. All right. We're going to have a quiz, quiz, quiz. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's loading. I don't know if it's loading. Forever loading. All right, excellent. Thank you, my friends. We're gonna go to this website, which is uh, quizzes. Okay, okay. So let's see, people, I'm going to turn off my camera just for a moment, para mejorar mi conexión. All right, so let's see here. Let's take a look to this one. 
to the chat. All right, and you are going to go to join my quiz.com. Okay, okay. So let's see. One second, one second. Oops. Yeah, one moment, please. Your mm -hmm. connections. Joinmyquiz.com. All right. Oops. Joinmyquiz.com. That's the website. All right. Try to log in there. And if he's going to ask you this one, All right. you enter this code right there. Join my quiz.com and then you enter to that one. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see if I can share again. And you got this one. There you go. All right, are you able to log in? Yes. Hello, hello, pudieron entrar, people? Oh, you're not teacher. Why? Yo sí. Yo tampoco teacher. ¿Por qué no? ¿Qué le da? ¿Un error o algo? Let me know. A mí me sale como que se, como que está cargando. It's like loading. Okay. ¿Alguien que haya podido entrar? Yo teacher. Alex, Yo alguien entré. All right, great, excellent. Thank you. Let's see this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna wait for some people to join this one y para poder empezar. Very good. I see four people already, all right? Okay, so let's see here. I see only four people and the rest, let's see, six people already here. Daniel, Nancy, Sonia, Erling, Milena, Alexa, Irma, Oscar, Argueta, all right. Okay, por menos la mitad, o sea, 12, so I can start, all right. Faltan four. Four more, come on, people. Excellent, veamos que más entró. All right, there you go. Excellent, uh, early sending stickers, all right, so. Mauricio Rano, they're already very good. Excellent. Three more, three more people so we can start right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Excellent, Sandra, I can see you are in already. All right. Just two, 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 and we start. Come on, the rest. The rest, the rest, where's everybody else? Come on. Yo no puedo entrar, teacher. El logo de inglés corporativo me, me aparece en la pantalla. No, 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 pero like, le dio al, le dio al, entró al website que mandé aquí. Aquí en el chat. Bueno. Ahorita, ahorita. All right. Volve otra vez. Joinmyquiz.com y le va a pedir un código y entra este. All right. 
Okay. There you go. Excellent. A usted lo estamos esperando, a usted. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> There you go. To so start with this one. All right, all right. Who else? Who else? Excellent. Sandra Ana Espinosa is in. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, this is a pequeño twist, people, basado en lo que hemos visto, right? So everybody will answer uh, the questions individually in their device, all right? So, así que vamos a ver si, all right? ¿Cómo va, José? No, teacher, no me da la opción, so, solo se me sombrea cuando le doy clic. All right. So. Ya no sirve mi compu, teacher. <laughs> tranquilo, vamos a ver. Join. Eh, puede escribirlo en el, de, de una sola vez en el buscador. Correcto. Sombrelo y pégalo en Google. O oh, se lo acabo de enviar en WhatsApp. Desde ahí le puede dar tú también. En el grupo. Okay. All right. Bueno, se incorpora entonces, my friend. Vamos a empezar a demás porque es almost time to go. All right. Ahora sí, ya tenemos ahí a Ana Elizabeth, Sandra, Ana Espinosa, Raúl, etc. All right. Le, se incorpora después a usted. Sí, está bien, Tiche, está bien. We are going to start right now. And there you go. Que muy bien lo que contestando. All right, so. Ah, Sonia toma la delantera. All right, Nancy also. Raúl, ok. Recuerda, entre más rápido responda, you have more points. The faster um, you answer, the more points you get. Yes. I'm here again. So let's see them. Excellent, Nancy, number one. And the rest, what happens? Oscar subió un montón, Daniel too, right? Yo no sé qué le pasó al mío, eh, teacher, se quedó trabado desde el segundo. What happened? I don't know. So you say you had a problem or what happened? Or se trabó? Pues, yo no sé si es que a mí se me trabó o okay, qué, pero ahí se me quedé en la segunda, en Innovation, y ya no pasé. Oh, my God. It might be the connection. But don't worry. Sí, all right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, the team. There are only 10 questions, people. 10 questions, 10 questions. Excellent. Ooh, Nancy has taken the advantage for a big amount. Oh my God, excellent, everything perfect, Nancy, very good. Ooh, excellent. Congratulations, Nancy, everything is perfect here. 
Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. One more minute to finish. Eva Milena Lopez. Very good. There you go, there we go. Thank you. So let's see at the end how are the results? The results, the results. Vamos a ver. The first three places. Oscar Guetta, Milena Lopez, and number one. Nancy, Katia, so applause for the top three people. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Excellent, all right? So it was actually just there, un pequeño quiz, all right? So like, just to like, you know, cubrir todo lo que hemos visto hace momentos, so the vocabulary, et cetera, et cetera, all right? So uh, we are going to stop right here because it's time to go uh, in rest, all right? Así que eh, I hope you have eh, enjoyed the activities, people. All right, so recuerden que acabamos de terminar nuestra primera semana. So tomorrow we continue with the next one. Así que eh, after the second week, remember that we have the first test. Ese sí va a ser de verdad. All right, so así que like let's study, eh, practice, people. And super important, if you have questions, ask me. All right, so you have the WhatsApp group there. So use it, all right? All right, if you have questions about anything, please type in the group, all right? So like, teacher, how do you see this one? Teacher, what is this or the other one? And I will be more than happy to help you with that, all right? Everybody, have a wonderful night, all right? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. 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 Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.